Hello everybody and welcome to another shared graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at this shader where the water effect is kind of the, uh, on the side. It's the, the main thing is these leaves and um, you can see they are uh, random placed. Uh, they rotate and they move at different speeds. Let's see what do we have. Oh, just b before we begin. I'm using the um, Unity 2020, uh, actually 2021 Alpha, but the name of the project is 2020, uh, the HDRP. And once you create an HDRP project, you will have this nice place uh, with this tree and all of this light and stuff like that. Uh, and all what I added is just this water plane thingy, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, so what we have is these. So you can increase the number of leaves. You can change the size. You can uh, change how many of them are shown. Uh, these are all, these are like half. Uh, you can change the maximum speed, uh, maximum rotation and maximum random position. So you can see this is like uh, no random position, right? And some uh, stuff for the water, I'm not gonna go into depth. If you are interested in water stuff, there are a lot of great tutorials on water uh, specifically, right? And you can obviously change the texture uh, to whatever thing you have. The only needed thing is that uh, you have alpha. Um, so let's just jump into it. So we will start by using the leaf number parameter uh, as the tiling of a tiling and offset node, right? And I, I used this method uh, a couple of times by now. Uh, one of them was the water ripple, uh, which is where um, you you create these squares by using the fraction of the UV, right? So that the uh, texture loops again and again. Uh, and I'm gonna call each one of these uh, squares a tile, because why not? All right, so um, I wanna add uh, random offsets uh, for columns only, like. As you can see, each column of these tiles move at a different speed. And to do that, you can just split the UV and use the X only, get the floor, and use that as the seed of a random range node, which will look something like this, right? For each uh, column, we have a different seed. Um, uh, and so you will have a different uh, random value for each column. And I'm connecting the maximum speed as the uh, max of this node, and I have 0 0.02 as the minimum. <coughs> After that, you multiply this value by the time, and you construct a vector 2, uh, which is 0 on the x and uh, on the y. It's whatever we calculated. You can also use the X, and so they will be moving um, on the X axis rather than the Y axis, right? So this is our random offset, um, which then we are just going to add. Uh, I guess you can add this with the original um, tiling and offset to, to have offset, basically. Um, and like when, when you change this offset value, it's basically adding to this value. So an add is the same as an offset. All right, so after we have our um, randomly moving, uh, doesn't show up here, uh, but I think it does here, yes. As you can see, we have, uh, if we use a fraction, then you have all these styles and each column is moving at a different speed. And we are going to um, generate a random vector 2 uh, for it. Um, so what, what we do is that we connect it to a floor. 
and we connect that floor to um, a random range which will give us a unique random value for each one of these tiles and what I did here is that I just added whatever any any uh, any number to the second one so that we have a different seed so that these values are different from these values and what I'm doing here is that I have this uh, maximum random position parameter uh, as the maximum and the negative of it as the minimum, which is the same as here. I just used a multiply by minus one here and negate here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and it's the same parameter, obviously. And then you construct a vector two. So this is generating um, a random vector two value for each one of these tiles. And this will basically have the offset of, uh, of each uh, tile, right? So I'm just adding, uh, so again, I'm doing an offset. But for each tile, there is a different offset, right? We also have the random rotation, which I'm using the same uh, output as this stuff. Uh, and again, using a floor. And uh, I guess it doesn't matter here, I just copied it. Uh, you can connect this immediately to the seed. Um, and, oh no, it does matter because uh, uh, the first one, uh, the first one does not have anything added to it. And so if you keep it without adding anything, then it will be the same seed as this one, uh, uh, which means that you will have the, um, the leaves that are, uh, that have high value, for example, on uh, the X, this is the X offset, right? So the leaves that are on the right, they are gonna have faster random rotation always, which is not the perfect thing to do, right? And so adding any value will change the seed. And we are gonna have uh, the minimum is 0 0.02 and the maximum is our max rotation. Uh, it's also um, a very, well, I guess I, I have it maximum to one. So yeah, so you can change that and multiplying that again by time and connecting that to a to the rotation of a rotate node um, which is just gonna rotate each tile right as you can see at a different speed and i'm using radians center keep it as it is 0 0.5 and uh, the uv is again the fraction of the output here right and so again we added the offset to whatever we uh, rotated and um, after that, we can change the leaf size for each one of these tiles by subtracting this value by, uh, by 0 0.5, which would bring the leaf to the center, or, or it will basically make it, um, no, I'm sorry, it will make the values, it was from 0 to 1 for each tile, and it will be from minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5, right? And so when you multiply by the size and then you uh, add back that 0 0.5, you will have uh, sizing correctly in the center, basically. And then you can use that as your output, like for, for uh, unwrapping any texture. And what I did was, um, just because I'm a bit lazy, I used this normal from texture, but it's uh, more performant if you have uh, a separate normal texture, as far as I know. If you have an, a, a separate normal texture and uh, make it a parameter and just unwrap it normally. Um, but I did this. And make sure this is clamp, the, the sampler, so that it doesn't, uh, for each tile, it doesn't uh, repeat itself again. And let's see, as we mentioned, the alpha uh, of the image is what um, uh, it's it's what going to separate between showing a leaf and not showing a leaf, basically showing the water stuff, right? And uh, also for for that, we need to add this floor, uh, this um, sorry, the show hide ratio, and it's again using the same add uh, uh, node, going to a floor, and then going to a seed and then connecting that seed to uh, a step. Uh, and then the show hide ratio is basically the edge of that step. And so when you increase, um, let's say if this value is 0 0.5, then everything below 0 0.5 is gonna be zero. 
and everything above 0 0.5 is going to be 1. Uh, and so multiplying this by the value of the alpha is going to show and hide um, these styles, right? And we can actually change that. Uh, so you can see if we do 1, then nothing will be shown. If we do 0, then everything will be shown. 0 0.5, half, half, randomly, right? And then uh, you can use this value as the t of uh, lerp. Uh, and so you can do a smoothness, uh, 1 if it is uh, alpha, and 0 0.5 if it, is, if it is a leaf, basically. And you can do the same thing for the normal map uh, between our texture and the water distortion stuff, um, which is basically, uh, I, I made two noises which uh, add to each other and they um, uh, they move randomly, I guess, at different speed. Uh, they blend basically, and then I am multiplying that by the water normal, normal distortion. Um, I guess this is yeah uh, the the multiplication, and then it goes to um, uh, to being added to the screen position before uh, using this HD scene color. And this is basically what give us the um, what the camera is rendering. And adding a value to the screen position will basically do uh, some refraction. And then we are using the same stuff also for normal from height. As you can see, it will create this normal map from um, height, from uh, values between 0 and 1. And so we are using that as the normal. And then we are using that as the water um, uh, color. But you can obviously have like a, a normal texture rather than getting the, uh, the scene color and have the leaves on, uh, on a normal texture without moving, for example, so that you can spread leaves all over your uh, material or whatever mesh, right? I'm also um, extending it here so that I add it to the position uh, so that the mesh also moves a little bit. But you don't need to worry about all of that stuff, right? Um, so this is it for this tutorial, or I guess overview of this shader. Hope you enjoyed it, and um, hit that like button if you liked it, and subscribe, and catch you in the next one.